Hey there, it's Bernadette Doyle here, and today we're talking about how to get coaching clients fast. Now, I'm going to promise you that some of the advice I have on this subject might surprise you, and it might fly in the face of what you expect, but please bear with me, because I've been helping people like you to get more clients and to get them quickly for over 20 years, and this isn't just some pie-in-the-sky theory that I dreamt up. This is based on my observation in the field of what actually practically works. If you want to get clients fast, what should you do? Well, the first thing I have to say to you might surprise you in that I'm going to suggest you do nothing. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is don't jump into action too quickly. The first thing you want to do is really manage your mind and your emotions around currently, you know, the gap between where you are right now and the clients you want to have. Because there's a very big difference between taking action fueled by commitment and focus versus taking action that's fueled by desperation and lack. A big thing that I do in my Get Clients Make Money program is help people like you to connect with their next paying client. And I promise it's possible for you too, but you want to make sure that you're focused on the right things. And actually it's it's quite simple. I'll come on to that in a moment, what you should be doing versus what you shouldn't be doing right now. But before you take any action, you want to get really clear in your mind so that you're taking action, not from a place of fear, desperation or lack, but that you're taking the action from commitment and focus. Because the bottom line is this, your next paying client is already out there. There is a person right now in your field of connection who is already struggling with a problem that you can help them solve. They're looking for you. You are literally the answer to their prayers. So if you approach this from the point of view of service, of really looking to connect with the next person that you can serve, that's going to be a far more effective fuel for your action than desperation or lack. So know that your next paying client is out there and what's required of you right now is a willingness to show up and serve so you can connect, connect with that person. So you want to take action, but take action knowing that you are focused and committed and you're willing and desiring to serve your next paying client. That is totally different from taking action with the thoughts of, I need a client. That's going to make you very graspy and needy and subconsciously in your energy, potential clients are going to feel that from you and it's going to keep them away. So it's helpful to remember that what you are seeking is also seeking you. And I love this quote from Joseph Campbell where he talked about a thousand helping hands. And when you show up to the marketplace and you are fueled by a desire and a commitment to serve, then you're going to find these wonderful little synchronicities that will show up along the way. In my programs, my clients call this out of the blue. (laughs) It's, It's incredible to me how many people join my programs and then in their first week, they're reporting that they're getting new clients out of the blue. We even created a name for it. We say that when people join my programs, you're automatically getting signed up to the out of the blue agency. It's like this magical way of synchronicities that leads to clients. It's not out of the blue. What's happening is when you really connect to that energy of focus and commitment, then the magic starts to happen around you. And that's what's really happening. It's not really coming out of the blue. Now, the next thing to do is actually something to stop doing. And what I mean by this is I want you to stop doing all of the things that are currently taking up your time, but they're not connecting you with potential paying clients. They're not putting money in the bank right now. You need to be quite ruthless about this. If you are really committed to getting your next paying client, then you really do need to put to one side all of the time distress time-consuming things that aren't leading to the outcome. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about writing your book. I'm talking about redoing or launching your website. I'm talking about launching a podcast or fleshing out your next online course. All of these things might be worthy endeavors, but none of them are directly going to help you get your next paying client this week. And so you really do need to put those to one side and keep your focus and your energy and attention on the things that are going to lead to paying clients right now. So what is that? That means really focusing on these two things, having sales conversations, having conversations with people who are uh, in a position or likely to hire you. And the second thing is doing things to set up those conversations. I promise if you just focus on those two things and you do these two things fueled by the commitment and focus I talked about earlier and not by desperation or lack, you are going to 
get results. You are going to sign up your next paying client within the next seven days. There's no question about that. And so you want to really put your focus on these things. Now, when I say sales conversations, what do I mean by that? I mean an actual one-to-one conversation that's happening in person or over a phone or over Zoom, something like that, that leads to you uncovering a person's challenges and then making an offer to help them solve those challenges or problems. It has to include something like this. This is where they are. This is what they need. This is what you've got to help them with that. This is how much it costs. Are they in? If it doesn't include those five things, you haven't had a sales conversation. You've danced around the subject. Now, many people are frightened of selling. They're frightened of sales. I've done other videos around this. We'll link them on this video or in the links below. Know that you might have some resistance to doing this, but it's a really important skill for you to develop if you are serious about getting clients for your coaching business. There's no playing here. It's time to step up. And just because some of this might feel uncomfortable or unfamiliar to you doesn't mean that you can't do it or you shouldn't do it. I actually say to my clients, selling is loving. When you manage yourself to step past that discomfort, and I don't mean forcing through that discomfort, but overcoming anything inside of you that's stopping you from having those conversations, that's the ultimate form of service. So it's really important that you have those sales conversations. If you're not having those sales conversations, what you want to be doing is focus on creating those sales conversations. And in a nutshell, that means reaching out to your existing contact network and seeing if you can create opportunities to have conversations with people you might already be connected with or creating referrals or showing up and being visible and valuable in the places where your target audience is already hanging out. This is something that my Get Clients Make Money program find really successful for getting people to raise their hands and start to send them inbox messages. And it really is because they're just showing up and sharing in the places where their audience is already hanging out. I'm not talking about self-promotion here. I'm talking about offering genuine value, going into discussion groups, Facebook groups, where conversations are already taking place, noticing the questions people are asking and offering help. And again, not offering help from the point of view of, oh, I've got a program, do you want to buy it? But actually offering help from, okay, here are some things that I found will work in this situation. Just really sharing again from that place of service. You'll notice I'm using the word service over and over and over. Here, there's a big clue there. So you want to stop doing the things that aren't going to put money in the bank. You want to focus on the things that are going to put money in the bank. Those are two simple things. More sales conversations, focusing on the actions that will create some conversations and doing this all from a place of commitment, service, love, focus. That, my friend, is how you're going to get paying clients fast. Put this into action. I'd love to hear your comments below. Let me know how you get on with that this week. I'm curious to see who will be the next person to report your next paying client as a result of what I've just shared here. Leave a comment below. It's inspiring to others to see your success. And I'd love to connect with you anyway. What are your thoughts about what I've just shared? What's resonating? Is there anything in particular you're going to put into action right away? Do leave a comment below and I will see you on a future video. Remember, your next paying client is already looking for you. You are the answer to their prayers. So go get them. Oh,